England fans, no doubt, Simon, will be there in big numbers and will be wearing mm -hmm, the England shirt. The England shirt. But now Nike and the FA, to a degree, have upset a large part of the, the England football nation with the St George's flag playful update, as they're calling it. Um, uh, Nike have tinkered about with the flag. We spoke about this yesterday. This has now exploded. It, it, it is a, a full-scale uh, drama in the background here. Nike say this, the England 2024 home kit disrupts history with a modern take on a classic. The trim in the cuffs takes its cues from the training gear worn by England's 1966 heroes with a gradient of blues and reds topped with purple. The same colours also feature an interpretation of the flag of St George on the back of the collar. England legend Mr Pierce has taken, this will be interesting, but they've all got involved in this, in this argument. Speaking on the Sun's weekly politics show, Never Mind the Ballots, Sir Keir Starmer threw in uh, his Thruppensworth. I mean, as you know, I'm a big football fan. I go to England games, mm. men, the women's game, um, and the flag is used by everybody. It is a unified, it doesn't need to be changed. We just need to be proud of it. So I think they should just reconsider this and change it back. All right. I'm um, not even sure they can properly explain, explain why they thought they needed to change in the first place. Last but, uh, but one more thing on that for me. On. They could also reduce the price of the shirts. I think, I think, we, can all, I think we can all get behind, pounds. All get behind that. So we'll get to the price of the shirts. Um, Stuart, is this a shirt? As an England player, if you were playing tomorrow night, would you be happy to pull it on? Um, if it meant another cap for my country, 100%, Jim. Uh, I, but I'm really, really surprised that this hasn't been picked up on beforehand because whenever I've been involved with England, um, normally they unveil the shirts to the players, to the coaching staff, all of those type of things, and ask opinion. Now, I'm surprised that some someone's not picked up on it. I didn't even know it was supposed to be a take on our flag, that chevron on, on the back of, uh, of it. Looking at it, it looks like Chrysler or something like that. I have no idea what it is. But listen, you shouldn't be tinkering with the, the national flag of England. On you, a you're a patriot of your country. Does it offend you? It doesn't offend me, no, but I don't think it's right. I don't. I wouldn't put something on that I'm looking at and thinking, is that a, a logo of a car company or what it was. I, I didn't associate it with the, the, the cross of St George. I really didn't. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.